Hello, today we're going to focus on Rules Engine, one of the most important features of the Enterprise Edition. It allows you to define smart attributes that are updated automatically depending on the rule applying. Right now, three types of rules are configurable. You can copy a value, set a value, or add a value, which allows you to complete or classify the product. But it is also possible to create new rules depending on your needs. Let's look at it in detail. Go to Settings, Attributes, and I can use the Filter Smart Attributes and select only the attributes that are considered by a rule. If I go to the Attributes tablets underscore type, I can see the details of this rule that will set the values depending on the size of the display diagonal. This rule is about the sizes and the types of the tablet. For example, it indicates that if the field tablet type is empty and display diagonal is between 7.1 inches and 10 inches, then the PIM will automatically fill the field type tablet to standard. The rule below is also the same but comes for the tablet that have the display diagonal less than or equal to 7 inches. That would have the tablet size as mini. Finally, the last rule is about the tablet which has the display diagonal greater than 10 inches to be set as a type max. I can also see all the rules at once by clicking on Settings, Rules. Another type of rule can be copy. For example, if family code of the product is camcorders, then the description in English for the channel print is copied in the description field of the e-commerce channel. Also, these rules can be easily deleted by clicking on the delete button from the right hand side of the rule. Let's see how it applies on the product. Let's go to Enrich, Product, and select the category as Tablet and choose a product. Now if I go to the technical attribute, I can see that the attribute tablet type is empty and there is no information. However, there is a rule line below indicating that the attribute can be updated by a rule. I am now going to launch the rules calculation. It's a command that can be run manually or can be configured to launch automatically at specific intervals. Now that the rules have been applied, let's check it. Let me refresh the page. I can see that the value tablet underscore type is now populated with standard which is as per the rule matches the display diagonal. You can set up different rules on different attributes. To do so, you can set a YML file to import rules. It can look complex at first, but it is actually very simple to understand. Please feel free to ask us any questions. Thank you.